Today we're making this baked white cheddar mac and cheese. We're going to start by prepping our pasta water over on the stove. Our sauce starts with four tablespoons of unsalted butter, adding one quarter cup of flour. Cook the roux for a few minutes. I'm going to season this with salt, onion powder, garlic, and ground mustard. Almost forgot my black pepper. This part is important. You're going to grab a whisk and as you're whisking, slowly add in your milk. Basically adding this in intervals, waiting for it to absorb before I add any more milk. So now you can see all the milk has absorbed, so now it's time to add more. And this is about the right thickness. I'm gonna go ahead and boil eight ounces of macaroni. Add two teaspoons of hot sauce. Turned our sauce off because we don't wanna overheat the cheese. And now I'm gonna add eight ounces of sharp white cheddar and four ounces of pepper jack cheese. And I save just a little bit to add on top. As you can see, we don't need this to be completely melted. I undercooked my pasta by about a minute and I'm gonna add that to my cheese sauce. I'm gonna mix that together. I set this aside, we're gonna make the topping and then put all this in the casserole dish. Half a cup of panko breadcrumbs, one third a cup of Parmesan cheese, three tablespoons of melted butter, lastly, half a teaspoon of garlic. We're gonna bake this at 375 for about 10 to 15 minutes. You can find the full recipe for this on my blog, biteswithbrie.com.